Hey guys, Murph back with another quick video. Just wanted to do a quick one today um, on taxes, since it is tax season. We're in the beginning of February. Um, last year was the first year I ever flipped a house. Um, basically bought a house at a tax auction, got it very cheap. Um, not many other people were interested in it. And I was gonna fix it up and do a rental thing with a friend of mine, and it was a huge house and it was a lot of work and we decided just to go ahead and flip it. Um, so this year was the first year, you know, right away I tell my friend, the house went cheap, it was like 8,500 it sold for. Um, he's like, oh, anything under 10 grand, don't worry about it. That's not true. Uh, anything over $600, you're gonna have to report to the IRS. Now, if you close yourself, you'll have to do it yourself. It's a 1099S. But if you have a closing agent, they should provide that for you. I think you're supposed to have it by the first week of February of that upcoming year for the taxes. So like I sold the house in 2016. So I had the 1099S from my agent last week. It's the beginning of February now, 2017. So basically, you get the form and it has, I closed the house for 8,500. So it had 8,500 on the form. Well, obviously you didn't make $8,500, am I right? So th this is why you have to do your taxes because the IRS, I did a PayPal video because I sold on eBay. They always assume the worst that you made all the money that you got, which is never true. So if you don't take care of your stuff, they're gonna come after you for the whole amount. You have to take care of your taxes. Um, now, if you're somebody who's planning on doing this and flipping the money into another house, there's actually forms and things you can go through so you can defer your taxes to a later date because you're taking the money and reinvesting it. So you guys go look into that, Google it, do your thing. You can reinvest your money and hold off on paying the taxes. Now, I think you have to do those forms and things while you're selling the house and buying new property. And I didn't know about it, so you can't do it at a later date. Because I did buy another uh, flip property that I want to work on, but I didn't know at the time, so now I'm stuck. Now, don't get too worried because basically what it boils down to that you hear all this talk about capital gains and long-term gains and short-term gains. What it basically boils down to is when you flip a house and you have to pay the tax, it's like self-employment tax. It's about 15%. At least until the numbers get bigger, I'm sure it goes up like anything. But say 10 grand, it, it was about 8,500, so I'm saying around 10 grand, it was 15% um, is the tax you have to pay on it. So basically, I do my taxes myself. I've gone to H&R Block before. I use their website online and just do it myself now, but they've, I've had them do my taxes and they screw them up anyway, so I'm like, I might as well just screw them up myself if I'm going to, because then you have to pay them all the money. Now, I was on their website, and I'm going to go over this briefly, because if you do your taxes, you're best to just do them online. It's a lot cheaper. They were going to let me do them for free because I was just doing my regular full-time job, but then I had to do the extra 1099S form, and that they ended up charging me like $60 because of that extra form that I had to put on the taxes. And it's not a big deal. So basically, what you do is you have the selling price of the house, um, you subtract all your seller's fees. So like, yeah, the house sold for 8,500, but the check the closing agent gave me was for like 5,200. Um, I had a partner in it, so we had to split everything. And plus you have the cost of the property. That's your basis. That's what you start off with. Um, so, you know, I had to subtract the cost of the property. They weren't going to close on the house because it was full of garbage. I figured because we ended up selling it for way less than we wanted to. I figured they were gonna just buy it as is and not give a shit. But when you sell a house, you have to have it what's called broom swept clean, which means everything's just empty and cleaned out, just broom swept clean. And there was a couple tons of garbage in this house. So we ended up having to clean all that out. I had to pay somebody last minute because the day before the closing, the guy waited, the buyer waited to tell me he wanted a broom swept clean. He couldn't tell me a month ahead of time. I figured he was just gonna let it go. A day before he wasn't going to decide not to close so instead of taking it in the keister i decided to hire a friend who had a huge trailer and we got rid of everything in one night and it was a big a big to do but we got it done anyways making a long story short i just wanted to go over a couple things with you guys but it's basically like self-employment tax it's 15 percent 
um, just make sure to put it on your taxes. Um, as far the research I uh, did so far shows that unless it's under six hundred bucks, you gotta do it. Unless you're gonna, like I said, roll over the money into another property, reinvest, then do your due diligence and do your forms at the time of the sale and when buying the next property. Again, guys, this was Mirth, just a tax time thing. I wanted to make it real short, but uh, you know, I I lo looking online and there's so much information, it's hard to sort through everything. So I just wanted to kind of simplify it for you guys, and it's real easy. When you, I did the H and R block online. You know, it said, did you sell a property? You got a 1099S and you just punch in the numbers, come up with the money you actually really made and then you pay tax on that because let's face it, you don't want to pay tax on money you didn't make because everybody's taking so much of everything by the time you get it in your hand, you have nothing. Now also, just briefly, I want to go over, uh, besides the closing costs, you can take that off of the money you made. Um, you can also take off the property tax and stuff because yes, that is a cost. You're buying the house to flip it. So if you have to pay property tax or sewer, water, anything, you can take that off because it's a cost. You know what I mean? You wouldn't be, you're, it's, you're buying the house to make money. So that's a cost. So you can take all that stuff off too. Um, like I said, they took all that off anyway when they closed because your taxes have to be current and all that. So by the time they gave me my check, it was already done. So I basically took the check they gave me, which had all the closing fees, taxes, everything taken off of it. I had that amount. I subtracted the cost of the property and I subtracted the cost of getting rid of that garbage. And I did some other little stuff like put locks on the doors and... Uh, you know, the cost of garbage bags, I had to buy garbage bags and stuff. Subtract everything and then you come up with what you actually made, money you made, and then it's basically 15% of that. So Murph, just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up on that for tax season and uh, I hope I see you guys in the next one. Peace.